What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be learning the song Jesus by Jeffrey Golden, also covered by Urshan College. So this song is in the key of A and then it modulates to B flat and I'll do the normal thing, play it all the way through and then I'll go ahead and break it down for you guys at the end. So here we go.
big fade out at the end. On the full board, as always. Cool, so that is the Urshan College version of Jesus, originally by Jeffrey Golden. One cool thing I got to do in this song was track a road sound for this Urshan College version. So instead of a grand piano sound like we did today, it was more like a, this kind of sound. Rhodes can kind of work well hand in hand with the grand piano sound. Um, so it was just a good layering piece. I actually teach at Urshan College. I teach some piano over there and I also graduated from Urshan College. So that's kind of why I like doing versions that Urshan does because you know, it's got a fond place in my heart. So, uh, but today we're doing the grand piano version of the song. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. It starts in the key of A. Uh, and so on the screen, you might have seen uh, sharps. And then when we did the key change to B flat, it actually stayed in the sharps. But I'll try to change the, uh, the chords to be reflect B flat once we do the key change. So, uh, we're in an A scale originally. And then we go to B flat, which has two flats, which this is a B flat. B flat has two flats, but once again, we're starting in the key of A. So the first thing that happens is whoa, oh, oh, oh. So you can either mirror that uh, melody with one octave or two octaves. And, uh, or you can not do it at all, but I always wanna give the option to do that. The chord progression underneath is D, F sharp minor, A, E. And it's more like a D major nine. So this is a normal D chord, right? And then we have the major seven, which would be the C sharp, and the major nine, which would be the E. And then the F sharp minor seven, or you can add the 11 with a B. The B is like adding the 11th. And then an A chord, which you can always add a two on a major chord. And then an E chord. Whoa, oh, oh. Right, so you could either do the progression without the melody, or you could add the melody. And in that case, I'm just kind of doing one, five, and one. On the left hand. And then it starts the verse, which is on an E chord, F sharp minor, and then a D. And it kind of repeats that. So, Kind of like this first inversion E chord with my right hand, and then F sharp minor seven, and then this D major nine, which is one, five, one in the left hand, three, five, seven, nine in the right hand. And then it goes with the pre chorus A over C sharp. Who can stand before? This is a D chord. B minor chord when we call on that great name ends on an E. So you can do this melody in the right hand, root position A chord over C sharp, and then it goes D, second inversion, B minor, seven, or just this is just regular B minor actually, no seven, and then a kind of mirroring the melody on the pre-chorus there and ends on an E chord. And then the chorus starts F sharp minor, E over G sharp, A. And I like to do these, uh, the melody is Jesus. So I, I walk that up with the octaves. F sharp minor, E over G sharp, A. So B minor for three hits, and then quick A over C sharp, D 
add to, and then maybe a quick E. Jesus, we call on you. That's a B minor seven or a minor nine if you put the C sharp on top, and then a D. Jesus, same. Thing. I don't know if that E is there, but you can always add it. Like, you can always add that walk up to the F sharp minor. Jesus, we call on you. The, the last one is a little walk down. B minor, A, E over G sharp. Yeah, that name. One thing you can do is like a tenth on this part. With your uh, octaves in one hand and the other hand, so basically you're doing a root and a third on each chord. This is F sharp minor, A, E, and then you can just fill in the rest of the chord with the other hands. No other name. Second verse. Pretty much just E, F sharp minor, D. Say D in your name. And then we have a next pre chorus. Starts the same way. This part is the different part. F sharp minor, E, B over D sharp, da da da. Whatever inversions you want. Da, 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 da. And then it continues to walk down. So your bass line is A sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B. And your right hand chords are F sharp minor, E, B. And then I just do like a E shape over a C sharp minor, or over C sharp, which is like a C sharp minor seven. And then you end on the B. So dun, 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 da, da. And that great name. And you end on an E chord. And Jesus. Same thing. We call on again. To the bridge. So this progression is pretty much the same the whole time. D, F sharp minor, A, E, D different inversions, whatever inversion you want. Last one does a key change. It does this little walk up G sharp, A, B flat to get us to, to the key of B flat. So that's 7, 1, and then the new key, which would be B flat. And I can go ahead and change this to the key of B flat so that you get the B flat and the E flat represented here in the, in the uh, MIDI information. Okay, so, da, da, da. so that way you go 7, 1, and one of the new key. Every knee will bow. Two hits on an E flat major seven, which I have like this: E flat, B flat, E flat, G, B flat, D, and G in the right hand. So every knee will bow. So G minor, F. Two hits on G minor. One hit on F. Demons have to flee. At the name of a God, at the name. So that little riff is, is basically seven one seven six five three two one seven, and then it ends with a four in the bass and a six 
in the melody because then it keeps walking basically so it's just a little slower and however you can um, manage whichever finger numbers you want The left hand's probably the trickiest. Because you got to get down to the E flat. Right. So those are the, the numbers, the letters. And you can always slow it down and practice it. Slow at first and then speed up. Uh, and then it goes into this more staccato kind of feel. So normally it's syncopated, but instead of um, pushing that second chord in the progression uh, after the little riff, they're kind of walking in thirds. Like think about this is these are thirds, the one and the three of each chord. Back to the normal. Every knee will bow. And now that we're in the key of uh, B flat, the progression is E flat, G minor, B flat, F. And different inversions however you want to voice those chords um, and then the only other thing I would say is on when they go Jesus the progression is still the same really E flat G minor oh, the progression is still the same but the vocals are doing Jesus. so you get this C minor chord over uh, E flat chord so it's like a two chord over four chord. so really it's like a four with an add six so E flat add six so if you wanted to do that uh, on the piano as well you can always mirror what the vocals are doing so you always try to listen to what the vocals do and that gives you some extra color in your chords a lot of times whether it's a major seven and add six add two there's a lot of cool things that happen vocally you can kind of mirror on the piano as well so Jesus time last one at the name of our God at the name of Jesus so the band comes in and mirrors the melody at the very last one at the name of Jesus and then you end on the four chord which gives you the option to go back into it or you can end it um, the four chord is sort of an unresolved feeling, but it happens a lot. So uh, it gives you the option to kind of go wherever you want once you hit that chord. So that's basically the whole song. Uh, I haven't done this one with my church yet, but I really need to. It's a, it's a fun one. There's kind of a lot that goes on in the song, but it's really not that difficult once you break it down and kind of see all the pieces and how they fit together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Also, my keyboard, my headphones, all the things that I use to produce these videos, I have linked down in the description if you'd like to uh, take a look at what goes into these videos or if you wanted to try out my microphone or my headphones or my keyboard or all the things that go into making these videos. So those are linked down in the description and of course if you click on any of those links it does help this channel out and it helps me to continue to make these videos. So feel free to do that if you'd like. Also, if you are interested in any kind of one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, you can find a link to private Zoom lessons down in the description as well. At the time of this recording, I do have openings. So hopefully there will be some down the road as well. But feel free to hit me up if you are interested in doing more one-on-one -on -one kind of lessons to be more specific with what you need to work on. Thanks so much for watching today. And before you go, Maybe you'll be interested in this video. If you like this video, you, you probably will like this video too. Thanks for watching.